Record. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing now? My name is Wolfie and I work for a company called The Flying Seagull Project. Well, actually, we're not really a company at all. We are a charity. We go around the world being silly, being crazy, being bonkers and ridiculous, doing loads of circus stuff and magic and games with kids all over the world. And today, we have teamed up with the incredible Operation Diversity. So Operation Diversity, they work with thousands of people all across the UK, thousands of families, neurodivergent children, with loads of interesting webinars and seminars, all that kind of stuff. And sometimes we do fun stuff like this too. Um, and Sarah asked me if I would come and play with you guys today. And I thought, you know what? I reckon I've been stuck inside so long. I've been so bored. I've got ev up every single day and I thought there's nothing fun to do today. But I woke up this morning and I thought today I'm going to see you lot. And I reckon you lot right down there, right through into the screen there, you guys might be the cure. You guys might be the silliest, most bonkers, most ridiculous, crazy cats in the whole of the UK. And maybe, just maybe, if we get all our energy and all our silliness and all our bonkers ridiculousness out all together, then we can have a fantastic afternoon. Now, don't forget, we're going to be doing this every single week for the next six weeks. Same time, same place on Wednesdays at three o'clock. So if you're a bit like me and you're a bit forgetful, don't forget you need to like and follow us on the Operation Diversity Facebook page. If you do that, they'll send you boink, a little notification and then you'll remember next week it's time for the Seagull Circus. Well, without further ado, it is time to roll up, roll up to the Seagull Circus. Now, you guys, maybe you think you know a little bit about circuses. Maybe you think that you're actually pretty crazy, pretty cool. Well, I don't know. I'm looking for some new recruits for my circus, you see. And I heard that maybe there might be some people out there who were interested in joining. What do you reckon? Oh, come on, guys. First rule of the circus, you've got to have more energy than that. Okay. Let's wake ourselves up because I need to know that you have got the energy, you've got the volume, you've got the craziness to join my seagull circus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shout good afternoon, you lot, down the screen. And you are going to shout good afternoon back to me, all right? So let's have a practice. And don't worry, even though I'm this side of the computer and you're that side, I'll know if you're not loud enough. So let's have a practice. Good afternoon, everyone. Did you do it? Did you? See, no, I didn't hear anything. I just heard this. No, 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 no. That's not going to be good enough. I need energy from you lot. So let's try it again. Take a big old breath round into your stomach. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. Okay. That was a bit better, but I don't think you're really going for it. I want you to shout and yell so loud that everyone and all the neighbours, if you've got people next door to you, or if you live by yourself and you haven't got anyone else in the house, someone else way, way over the other side of the fields, they can hear it too, all right? So let's try one more time. Ready? Good afternoon, everyone. Whoa. Oh, my. Whoa. Hey, you guys smashed it. Good work. Okay. So I have checked that you are, in fact, loud enough. Tick, congratulations. Number two, we need to introduce ourselves because even though you're down that end of the screen and I'm down this end of the screen, I think we should get to know each other. So my name is Wolfie. Now, uh, it would be a very bit difficult for me to go around every single one of you and ask everyone their name and then go back and forth. And that would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? Hello, you lot. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to shout, hi, my name's Wolfie. And you're going to shout back at me, whatever your name is. All right. Hey, if you don't like your name, pick another one. No one will know. Get ready. Hi, my name's Wolfie. Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Um, there was a lot of chatter and noise and stuff coming through to me. So um, for what the general collection of that, I'm going to call you all Bob. Is that all right? Is that okay with you, Bob? Is that okay with you, Bob? Are you sure, Bob? All right. So 
bobs of the world of the seagull circus now that we have made sure that you are loud enough we have made sure that we know each other's names the last thing we need to check is that you are all wiggly and jiggly and warm enough to get going so what i would like you to do is i would like you to take your hand like this beautiful and give it a little wiggle and just start with a wiggle in your hand and then wiggle into your elbow and then wiggle into your old arm and then send that wiggle all the way through to your other arm and give it a great big wiggle keep wiggling keep wiggling and then stop now that was an okay wiggle guys that was all right but if you're gonna join the seagull circus you need to be crazy wiggly jiggly for the tips of your toes to the tip of your nose so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it one more time and I'm gonna give you five seconds. And in that five seconds, I want you to be the wiggliest, jiggliest that you can possibly be. Think how many hours you sat down on your bums watching Netflix and playing games. Now we need to make sure that our bodies remember how to wiggle and jiggle. Ready, you've got five seconds to be crazy and wiggly jiggly. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two one stop and then take a breath because actually i don't know about you but i haven't done much exercise in the last six weeks and that was quite a lot all right congratulations you are warmed up you are loud enough and we all know each other's names that's absolutely fabulous now don't forget if you're there by yourself and you've got friends over the road and you think they should be watching this instead of looking out the window like this then you need to click invite and share so that everyone can come along and join our seagull roll-up circus so without further ado number two it is very very important when you are in a circus that you know where the parts of the circus are so i'm going to give you a little tour of our seagull circus but don't worry the points of a circus are always exactly the same no matter where you are in the whole entire world that is a very secret secret you can't tell anyone that you know that any circus that you go to all the things will be in exactly the same place so <coughs> number one over to my right there's a great animal sometimes at the circus not really anymore because we don't like to use animals in the circus but in our circus in our imagination we can have whatever we want and no one's unhappy which is great so on my right we have a great big animal with a big long trunk can anyone guess what animal i might be referring to no not a giraffe no, not a dolphin. A dolphin? Where are we getting a dolphin in the set? You're right. I heard an elephant. Absolutely right. Over here, we have the elephant corner. So, if we were going to go to the elephant corner, what we need to do is we need to pick our way through all the elephant poo all the way over to this side of the circus. Because I don't know if you know that elephants do the most colossal poos in the whole world. They're so big. So that's why you have to pick your way through. Now, if you can't walk all the way over there or you haven't got any space or you just don't fancy getting up, that's fine. You can simply point your nose like this and then you can go over there and just go, like that. So let's all have a practice. I shall shout elephant corner and you're all going to pick your way through the poo over there. Ready? Elephant corner. Oh, beautiful. Excellent work. Now, on the other side, opposite the elephant corner, we have an extremely dangerous place in the circus, full of the most fearsome creatures with long claws and big shaggy manes. Who do you think I mean? No, not your uncle, you silly sausage. You're right, exactly. Over here, we have the lion's den. And the lion's den, while it may be terrifying to those of us who aren't brave circus souls, you and me know that pff, those lions ain't got nothing on us. Instead, what I would like you to do is put on your bravest circus face like this. Let me have a look. Brave circus faces. Mm. Yes, good, very nice. Put on your brave circus face. And I want you to look over to the lions and I want you to say, back lions, back 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 all right let's have a practice of that everyone pick up your chair ready lion's den back 
back, back, back. Fantastic, good work. Now back in the middle, brilliant. Now, if you don't fancy, like with the elephants, if you don't fancy going over there, or if you can't move around too easily, that's all right too. You can simply stare them down with eyes of steel. Look over to the lions and say, not today, lion. Get back. Brilliant. So that was quite fun. I think I might do that instead of actually walking over there. So we have the elephant compound and the lion's den. Let's have a little practice between them. Get ready, get set. Elephant compound. Ah, ew, ew, ew. Lion's den. Get back, lion. Get back. Get back. Elephant compound. Ew, 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 ew. Get back, lion's den. Back, back. Elephants. Lions. Elephants. Lions. Elephants. Lions. Elephants. Stop. Oh, oh, ew. Everyone, give yourselves a little bit of a breather. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm hot after that. All right. Now that we know where the elephant's corner and the lion's den are, we have to move on. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I get a bit peckish. I do at the circus and I like to have a little snack. So tell me, what are your favorite snacks to have at the circus? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, chocolate, that's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, salad? Who's having salad at the circus? Oh my goodness. Well, uh, yeah, that's my favourite too. A little bit of good old salty sweet popcorn. Now popcorn, I don't know if you've ever seen popcorn being made, it's really fun actually. And popcorn, it pops around like this, pop, 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 pop. So, what we're going to do is right behind me, all the way there, right behind you, all the way to the back wall, or the sofa, all that horrible corner where all the cobwebs are. <laughs> that is our popcorn stand. So I shall shout popcorn, and everyone's going to pop like this. Pop, 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 all the way back to the popcorn stand. Or you can just sit and relax where you are, and you can just go pop, 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 pop. That's perfect perfectly fine too. Now the other end, the final point of the seagull circus, all the way over, right towards me, right into the camera, that is where we have Clown Corner. Now Clown Corner is the most ridiculous, bonkers, silliest place in the whole entire world and actually they're a bit snobby about who they let in. They only let in the funniest, most ridiculous, silly clowns in the whole entire world. So to get into the clown corner, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do our silliest face and our silliest walk all the way through to get to clown corner. All right, let's have a practice. Let me see your silly faces, go. Whoa. <laughs> that was ridiculous, your tongue is so long. Uh, I can see into your nostrils. That's ridiculous. Brilliant. You guys have got it down already. Okay, so I'm going to shout Clown Corner and you're going to wiggle and jiggle and see face yourself all the way towards the front. And don't forget, you've got the popcorn stand popping, popping, popping away all the way to the back. Get ready, get set, go. Popcorn, pop, 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 pop. Clown corner, silly faces, silly walks. Popcorn, pop, 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 pop. Clown corner. Popcorn, pop, 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 pop. Clown corner. Popcorn. Clown corner. Popcorn. Clown. Popcorn. Clown. Popcorn. Stop. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am exhausted. I don't believe it. That was amazing. What? What do you mean? What? You're not tired? I don't believe you. You're not tired? I'm exhausted. Wait, you're not tired at all? You want to do it again? Wait, okay. I wasn't going to do this because I wasn't sure whether you guys could take it, but do you want to do the super speedy lightning round. Ah, oh, that didn't sound like you wanted to do it. That was like a, yeah, I guess we could. It kind of might be fun if I didn't have anything else to do. I said, do you want to do the super speedy lightning round? Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone get your brains in gear. Give them a little zap. Bzz. Everyone give yourselves a little wiggle and a little jiggle. Okay, the super speedy lightning round. And don't forget, 
if you just want to sit there and you just want to do the noises and look over there and look over there and get your lines back that's also completely fine and don't forget you've got to keep liking keep sharing keep inviting everyone so they can come and join in the seagull circus tour with us okay right super speedy lightning round are you ready ready get set elephant enclosure oh, oh. Clown corner. <laughs> Popcorn stand. Pop, 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 pop. Over to the lion skin. Get back. Get back. Get the eyes of steel. Get back. Get back, lions. Elephant enclosure. Ah, 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 that's fantastic. Clown corner. <laughs> Popcorn stand. Pop, 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 pop. All the way over to lion's den. Get back. Get back, eyes of steel. Get back. Elephant enclosure. Popcorn. Pop, pop. Clown corner, <laughs> elephant enclosure. Ah, lion's den. Get back, get back, get back. Popcorn, pop, pop, pop. Clown enclosure, popcorn. Clown, popcorn. Stop. Ah. 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 Wow. Oh my goodness. You guys are bananas. Absolutely fantastic, everyone. I want you to give yourself a pat on the back like this. And then give yourself a pat on the other side of the back like this. And then if you're watching at home with anyone else, give them a high five. Yeah. Give them down below. Yeah. All right. Perfect. I think I can safely say that you all, in fact, know your way around the Seagull Circus. Fantastic. So, now we know our way around the Seagull Circus. The next thing we need to check is that you are smart enough to join the Seagull Circus. But you are clever enough that you are in fact so wily, so witty, so clever, so ingenious that there's never been a more intellectual individual on the whole circus scene. So to do this, I'm gonna test exactly how much you know about the circus, how much you know about the world in general with a crafty quiz Yes, that's exactly right. A crafty quiz where I'm going to test exactly what you do know, what you think you know, what you think you don't know, and what you don't know. They're all different, apparently. Right. So, for this, it's very, very, very simple. All I'm going to do is I am going to ask you a very simple question. I'm going to tell you a fact, in fact. And that fact may be true, or that fact may be false. If you think what I have said is true, that I'm telling the honest truth that I would never lie to you, not on a single day, not in my whole life, then I would like you to go all the way over to this side of the room on the left. If you can't, that's all right. You can just point there. You can just look in that direction. It's all good, but you must make a choice. None of this sitting on the fence in the middle going, oh, I sort of think it's true. I sort of don't think it's true. Now, nah. I want you to pick a side. So over here on the right, we have the true side. Now over here on the left, we have the false side. If you think that what I've said might be a little cheeky white lie, that I might've got my ducks confused somewhere, that I in fact might be trying to trick you with my crafty ways, then I want you to go all the way over to the false side. So <clears throat> everyone in the middle ready for a riddle. Are you ready? Yeah, come on, let's keep that energy up. Are you ready? Okay. My first fact of the day, Wolfie's intellectual facts and fictions. Flamingos are born pink. What do you think? You have five seconds to make up your minds. If you think flamingos are in actual fact born pink, go all the way over to the left hand side. If you think that flamingos are not born pink and that I might be fibbing, then go all the way over to the right, to the left. Sorry, I'm getting my left and right confused, boink. All right, true and false. Get ready, you've got five seconds to decide. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Oi, you there in the middle, peek aside, stop cheating. Honestly. Okay, so over here, this side, I'm going to ask you what you think it is and I want you to shout true. All right, get ready. What do you think it is? Come on, give me more energy. What do you think it is? 
It's true. You think it's true? Okay, okay, okay. Over on this side, you guys think it's false. So I'm going to ask you, what do you think it is? And you're going to say false. Okay, get ready. What do you think it is? Aha, uh -huh. you think it's false. This side thinks it's true, this side thinks it's false. Drum roll, please, on your knees. Brrr, the actual answer is... It's false! Flamingos are in actual fact not born pink at all. Flamingos, did you know, actually are pink because all the plankton they eat, all the pink plankton, and then that gets right into their feathers and then that makes them go great big pink. So. Next, back in the middle, ready for another riddle. In Wolfie's Facts or Fictions Quiz. My next fact for you is this. Sneezes travel at 100 miles per hour. 100 miles an hour? Do you think that they do, in fact, travel at 100 miles an hour? If you think it's true and they do, go over this side. If you think it's false and they don't, travel all the way over to this side. You've got five seconds to make up your mind. Are sneezes, in fact, the speediest? And can they travel at 100 miles per hour? Everyone stop. This side, do you think it's true? This side, do you think it's false? Everyone, hands on your knees, ready for a drum roll. The answer is in fact true. Sneezes travel at 100 miles per hour. Can you believe that? Something coming out of your nose faster than your parents can drive on the motorway is bananas. All right, back in the middle, ready for one more riddle. So, you think you're smart, do you? Well, I've got one more test for you, one more teaser. Mm hmm it's very tricky. The sun is hotter than the middle of the earth. What do you think? The sun, that great big ball of heat, that is hotter than the middle of our very own planet Earth. What do you think? You've got five seconds to decide. If it's true you think it is hotter than the Earth, then go right the way towards the right-hand side to the true area. If you think it's false and the sun is not hotter than the middle of the Earth, go all the way over to the false side. Five, four, three, two, one, freeze! Right, this side. This side, what do you think it is? It's true, interesting. This side, what do you think it is? You think it's false? Hmm, I can in fact tell you. Drum roll please, on your knees. <laughs> the actual answer, in fact, is false. The sun is not hotter than the middle of the earth. In fact, the very center of our own planet Earth burns way hotter than our own sun. That's bananas, can you believe it? I mean, I'm boiling just on this nice May day. Imagine how hot it must be in the middle of the earth. Hotter than the actual sun. Blimey, well, my brain exploded with new knowledge. So, how many did you get right? Hands up if you got all three right. Well, I mean, I got them right because I knew the answers, but let me see. You got all three right. <gasps> Amazing. Wow, wicked good work. I'll tell you what, maybe next time, next week when we have Beady on the show, maybe she'll have to test you and see if your brains are in actual fact as smart as you say they are. But for now, we shall wind up our crazy quiz. Now, if you haven't already, you need to click that button down there that says invite. And you need to invite all your friends over to watch and share with us as well. Because then you can show off about how you knew the answers to the earth and the flamingos and the sneeze and that they didn't because they missed it out. Right, so I now have a challenge for you. We are going to have a very short, very ridiculous, very bonkers Balkan boogie. Now, a Balkan boogie is a bit like musical statues, but with a difference. Because we don't play with all that normal boring pop music like that, no. I want to get your hearts pumping, your feet thumping, and your bodies and your brains wiggling and jiggling as fast as you possibly can. And the only way we can do that is with my special song. So, when I play my special Balkan Boogie, you are gonna wiggle and you are gonna jiggle as fast and as crazy, as bonkers as you can. And if you're crazy and bonkers enough, then I will feel all those silly vibes and those silly craziness coming right through the screen at me, and you'll give me a great old giggle. All right, but 
when I pause the music, don't forget, if you're still going, ah, ah, you're out, except you're not really, we'll just keep playing, because I can't tell. <laughs> All right, so everyone, get your feet wiggling, get your feet thumping. Can we turn it up a little bit as well? Ready to jiggle and wiggle, because when I play my seagull song, I want you guys to be so bananas and so ridiculous that you go absolutely bananas. Get ready, get set, and go! <laughs> Okay, guys, that was all right, okay? That was like when my nan goes to a wedding and she's had a couple of Ribenas and then she kind of gets up and she goes like this. But guys, you are part of this seagull silly circus, okay? You've got to give me more wiggles, more jiggles, more craziness. Get ready, get deep down, deep inside and find your most ridiculous moment. Those memories, do you remember those times where you did something so silly that you fell about laughing and you couldn't stop laughing for half an hour until your sides were splitting? I want that, I want that crazy, ridiculous energy. Get ready, get set, go. Freeze. Are you moving? Are you moving? No. Well, you just said no, and that's moving. Got you. Get ready. Get set. Go. <laughs> Are you moving? Are you sure? Oh no, quick, look behind you, there's a great big spider! There's a great big spider! <laughs> Made you look, ha ha, you're out. No, just kidding. All right, now we're gonna have a last round. This is gonna be the most ridiculous, bonkers, crazy bit of the whole thing. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! Great <laughs> face! Got you. I was just tricking you. Get ready. Get set. And hold on. Hold on. Honestly, my speaker is so ridiculous today that it decided that it didn't want to play. And it decided that, you know what? I'm a bit tired and I'd actually like to go to sleep now. But I don't want it to go to sleep because I want to see your crazy, bonkers, ridiculous dancing. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I am exhausted. Are you tired? I'm exhausted. Goodness me. Whoa. I tell you what, you guys over there, yeah, you, you were pulling some ridiculous moves. I saw that wiggle and that jiggle and that thing you did with your leg. That was bananas. Oh my goodness me. You know what? I think I can safely say that you have passed the wiggle and jiggle test. You have passed the brainy facts test. You have passed the seagull tour. And now I think it's time that we entered into the world of magic. Okay, so when I say that bit, that's the bit where you're supposed to go, ooh, like it's the most amazing thing you've ever heard and you're so excited, all right? So I'm gonna try it again. It's a bit embarrassing, okay, guys? You let me down first time, but don't worry, I'll give you a second chance. This time, when I say we're going to enter the world of magic, you're gonna give me a great big ooh, like you think this is the most exciting thing that you've ever heard in your lives. Get ready. We are going to enter the world of magic.
Okay, guys. I don't want to get you too excited. But in there, it was some of the greatest magic I've ever seen in my life. Okay, now the first thing that we need for magic, what do we need? We need a, um, oh, it's like a black and white, and it's long and sticky. And it, what? A wand? You're right, we do need a magic wand. We need a magic wand, and we need some magic, uh, some magic woo, some magic woo woo. Words, yes! We need some magic words. So, after three, I want everyone to shout out their favourite magic word in the whole entire world. Get ready, shout it nice and loud so I can hear it into my ear down the phone. Get ready. One, two, three. Mm, yeah, okay. They're all right. I didn't really hear you though. That didn't really feel like that was the most powerful magic word in the whole world. I want you to try that again and I want you to yell it out so loud and so proud that nobody could possibly defy you that this is in fact the greatest magic word of them all. Get ready. One, two, three. Whoa! Abracadabra, amazing one. Hocus Pocus, brilliant. Wingardium Leviosa, ooh, Harry Potter fan, very nice. So you know what? I think, I think for this part, you can choose whatever magic word you want. And I will get the magic one, don't worry. You don't need the magic one, because actually, I don't want to brag, but I've got basically the best magic one in the whole world, yeah in this suitcase right here. Best one you'll ever see. Aha! Beautiful, see? I know you're expecting something fancy, something glittery with fire coming out of the top, but the greatest magicians of the whole world, they use this. A very simple, very elegant, very chic magic wand. It is, in fact, the greatest magic wand of all time. And it never, ever, ever lets me down. Guys, did, did anything happen over there while I was talking? No, I'm just being silly, honestly. All right, anyway. This, as I said, was the greatest magic wand in the whole entire world, and I shall now perform to you one of the greatest... What? What? Guys, there's nothing there. You've got to stop distracting me, okay? I'm in the zone, all right? This is the greatest magic one in... Guys, does this keep moving? Are you sure? Are you super duper 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 sure? All right, don't worry. I've got a trick up my sleeve. <clears throat> Oh, well, I guess we'd better start again. Don't worry. I'll do the magic with my great magic wand and no one anywhere is pop. The magic will be so dazed and gonna be that you, the boys and girls, the hot cool British Isles and you can Hey! See, told you, nothing wrong with it. So, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to be dazed. Ow, 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 why? Well, that's just great, isn't it? I know, but, no, you know what? Stop the music. Stop the music. I can't, st I just can't, I can't do this. This is ridiculous. I can't possibly keep going after the, the magic break and then I just, guys. Oh, and I don't know what I'm going to do now. If I don't have a magic wand, then, what? Well, you guys can help me. You will. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Oh, but you see, the problem is I still don't have a magic wand, and I... Wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. What if, instead of doing some magic, we did something else instead? What about... If I told you that in actual fact, I didn't used to be a magician, no. I used to be an artist. I lived in Paris, drinking coffees in the morning, cycling along the Champs Elysees with a baguette in my basket, a paintbrush in my hand and an artist's soul seeking her muse. 
well, I, I mean, that's what I would have done if I hadn't, you know, grown up in central London. But um, anyway, what I have in here is, um, I do actually still have like my artist stuff. And I thought maybe I could, uh, could draw you something. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If I, if I drew you something, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't really planning on it because only, only the best, most special, most interesting, exciting, crazy people get to see my art. But do you think you're the most crazy, interesting, special, bestest, silliest, inventive, ingenious people? Do you? You do? Are you? <gasps> okay, okay. You've twisted my arm. You've twisted my arm. Oh, I'll do a little painting for you. Don't worry. Okay. Now, um... <laughs> What I usually do is I, I like to work with live live models doing all sorts of cool positions for me, but um, that's not really gonna... Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I've got you lot. I've got all of you lot right down there in the camera. <gasps> and you, I think you are the most beautiful, brilliant, creative people on the planet. So I reckon if you all give me some brilliant artist poses, then maybe I can channel all that energy right into my brain, through the computer, down my arm, down my pen, and onto my paper. All right, so I want everyone to pick a pose. It could be something like this. Beautiful. It could be something like this. Strong and brave. Beautiful. It could be your most bonkers, ridiculous, silly face. Have a go, ready, steady, go. <laughs> You guys have got some brilliant silly faces. Nice one. Okay, now hold your positions. And I shall attempt to channel all your beauty through technology into my brain, down my arm and onto a piece of paper. Get ready. Uh-huh. I'm just going to cut. Uh, uh, disgusting. Uh -huh. Right, here we go. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Oh yes, mm, oh I like that one, all oh, very nice. Oh yes, oh beautiful. Oh great silly face at the back there, fantastic. Oh I like your ponytail, I'm gonna draw that in. Mmm beautiful. And there we go, with a flourish. Now I need to sign it with something. Um, oh wait, what, um, what day is it today? I always have to date my paintings because you know, otherwise someone else might be able to steal. What day is it? Wednesday, great. Wednesday. Keep your poses. Show me those ridiculous, silly faces. Wednesday. Ready? And here we go. So, I'll put that there. All right. Now, get ready because you're going to be kind of amazed by what I've just drawn here. Um, so, I want everyone. When I show you my painting, I want you to scream at the floor and go wild to the beauty, the masterpiece that is one, two, three, ta-da! Thank you, thank you very much. I know, don't worry, I'm going to have a gallery opening later this month. Uh, what? Guys, oh, you're not, you're not clapping very hard. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean it's no good? Wait, you think this is rubbish? This is not rubbish. You think it's rubbish, do you? You think it's no good, do you? Stop laughing! Why are you laughing at me? That's my best painting, you know? Are you laughing at me? You know what? Fine. It's rubbish. That's fine. I don't care. I don't need it to be good. <laughs> It's so rubbish, it's useless, you know, I just... <laughs> useless. <laughs> There's no point. I'll, I'll quit. I'm gone. No, you can't stop me. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Hold me back. Hold me back. All oh, right, never mind. <laughs> you know what? Okay, you're right. That's not very good. Um, but maybe for one last little burst of magic. Don't forget guys, always click invite, click share, make sure everyone can come and join us, make sure everyone can come and watch. One more time. If you give me some magic help this time, then maybe, just maybe, we could get this to work. But for that, 
I'm going to need something else inside my magic box of mayhem and wonder. This, oh, it's a bag. Mm, nothing inside, nothing inside. Hmm, interesting. Oh, <gasps> wait, do you think I should put that in there? Ooh, yeah. Wait, if I put it in there like that, and then maybe, if you and me together, if we're magic enough, if we believe enough, if we've got enough energy, then maybe we can restore my beautiful painting, or not so beautiful painting, thank you very much, right back to normal, all the way together again, humpty dumpty style. Okay, now for this, I'm gonna need you to get your magic fingers in the air like this. Hiya! You're gonna be a magic ninja if you want. And I want you to wiggle your fingers like this and get all that magic that's right deep down in your belly and deep down in your heart and in your brain and up your nose. And I want you to challenge it so that it points right out of your fingers like a laser beam down through the camera towards our magic bag here. All right. And then do you remember those magic words that we talked about earlier? Whatever magic words you shouted out, whether it was abracadabra or hocus pocus or wingardium leviosa, I want you to shout down as loud as you can and maybe together we can achieve magical greatness all right get ready after three one two three Abracadabra! right guys get ready you're about to be dazed and amazed because here today Wednesday the 6th of May we have it Guys, guys, you know what? It's my fault, really. It's my fault. You know what we need to do is I need, I need you to be noisy. I need you to be full of energy. I need you to be so crazy that you knock my socks off. All right? Get ready. Here we go. Back in there. Magic fingers. Give them a wiggle. Give him a jiggle, and after three, I want you to shout your magic word as loud as you can. Get ready. One, two, three. Abracadabra! <laughs> this time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for believing. For indeed. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, guys. Guys, this is getting really serious now, okay? I really need you to try one more time, okay? This time, I need you to be loud. I need you to be proud. Get ready, one, two, three, magic word. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Oh no. Guys, it hasn't worked. I don't know what we're gonna do now. There's just no point. There's no point in trying anymore because sometimes things just don't. Ooh. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you did it! Amazing! You are fantastic! Give yourself a pat on the back! Give yourself a great big thank you, thank you to the roar of the approving crowds! Oh my goodness, I don't believe you lot! You know what? I think, I think you guys are the most magical the most bonkers, the most ridiculous, crazy, silliest, magic, amazing people of all time. And I declare that you may in fact join the Seagull Circus. Give yourself a pat in the black. Give yourself a big wave to the adoring crowds. Give me a bow. Fantastic. You guys have been absolutely bonkers. You've been ridiculous. You've been crazy. You have shown me where all the parts of the circus are. You've proved that you are in fact as intellectually ingenious as Einstein himself. And you most certainly have got the silliest and the wiggliest, jiggliest genes I've ever seen of anyone I've asked to join the Seagull Circus. So, don't forget, next week is BB's turn. And if you thought I made you work hard, whew, 
You better wait and see what she's got in store for you. Don't forget to like and follow the Operation Diversity page, the Flying Seagull Project right here. You can find all that information. And next week, at the same time, same place, you will be able to come and join the Seagull Circus. But for now, I want to give you a great big massive thank you very much. A big love, 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 love. And don't forget to invite your friends next time. See you later, guys. <laughs>